What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of the TB4Y yeah. podcast. You know what it is? Yeah, based off of me, everybody know what time it is. Yeah, 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 it's that season. I know, yeah, it's that season, man, of love, huh? The homework season. I know. That's the craziest part, <laughs> yeah. bro. They're getting money right for now, sure. bro. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the craziest sure. shit. I mean, they got money off me for these damn glasses, oh God, yeah. to be real. And hey, Mike, they got money off me for you, too, bro. Why? I got you something for Valentine's Day, bro, Aww. because... I love you, buddy. Oh, man, that's nice. <laughs> Hold on. I'm like Oprah Winfrey. Got to check under the seat. Mike, check under your seat, bro. Is there really something under my There's seat? Something under You're your seat like... There's something under your seat, Mike. Check under your You're seat, bro. Good. I put it there earlier. Check under your seat, brother. Could you get it? Oh. I got my boy some chocolates. I got you chocolates, bro. I'm actually and, it's, a, and it's all your favorite flavors. I'm actually allergic. You're not allergic. <laughs> nah, I'm okay, playing. Yeah. I was just kidding, bro. Nah, I was just playing. That's not for you, nigga. That's oh. for my girl, bro. Give me that. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Nah, it's actually for my girl. It's just because uh, basically we did Valentine's Day early because like, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, shit yeah. to do on that day and I forgot to give her this. Oh. So yeah, I just handed it to you so you could, you know. It's okay. But if you want it, bro, I mean. No, no, no. That's cool. That's cool. Me, cool. for me to you type shit. No, no, no. That's, that's cool. That's cool. You sure? I feel uncomfortable eating those chocolates. You think so? Yeah. Why? Because it's for my girl? I think it's mostly because it's just from you. And it's from a man. Yeah, type it's like heart shaped chocolates. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not the chocolate's not heart shaped. No, there are heart shaped chocolates in there. There is. Just don't eat the whole ones. Oh man. Speaking nah. of, of of love and stuff like that, dude. Yeah. Dude, Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. I know, bro. Yeah. Super yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And the bro. fucking Niners lost. Dude, who are you going for? Were you going for the Niners? Um. I know you weren't really probably too invested in the game. I really, but yeah, I really don't give a fuck. But I, I was going for the Niners just because they're it's a California team, but we lost though. The whatever. game was very weird. Yeah. Very strange. It started off kind of slow. Like, yeah. really, really slow. I mean, to be me, real. I it's mean, pretty fucking boring. Dude, today. it looked like the Niners was finished to win. Yeah, on God. To be real. And yeah. then out of nowhere, the game just flipped. They had to follow the script. That's what everybody's <laughs> saying. But that's what's crazy. Everybody's fucking saying that shit. But let's talk about it for a second. Do you believe that? The script? Do you believe that the NFL is rigged? Um, or let's even go a step further. Do you believe that most of these sporting events are rigged are scripted or rigged yeah do you think they're scripted like um, it's almost like wwe that would be crazy if, it if is. everything is like the wwe but they just really did a good job of of hiding it of hiding it years. you know what i mean yeah and we were able to pick up on the wwe no nah, i think i i think it is actually real yeah most of, it, most of the time maybe mm. i feel like sometimes maybe some people do like you know, they get paid off to, like, not do as well in certain games or whatever the fuck. Or maybe yeah. they pay off reps or something. That is weird. I can see that ah, actually happening. Man. Yeah. Okay, but, like, how do you do that? How do you even play that off well of, like, okay, boom, we're going to play hard but not hard enough or not all the way. It's, like, how do you make that look real where it's, like, you know what I mean? Because compared to, like, okay, I can understand in football you can drop a pass or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, and it's, yeah, like, yeah. oh, okay, like, you know. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Because sometimes it's, like, Niggas is going to be looking at you like, bro, you had him right there. How didn't you block that? Man, I literally And it's like if a guy just stands there, they're going to be like, nah, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. You I, fucking idiot. I think it was like the playoff game when the Chiefs were playing against, I think, the Ravens. Patrick Mahomes is running with the ball. Yeah. And there's a Ravens player about to tackle him. And like the last he second, he stops and, and, and like hits someone else. Yeah, see, I've seen that happen during the football game. I mean, the, I said the football, the Super Bowl game, too. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Like, there was judges? one moment that I seen. I forgot who was running the ball. Somebody was running the ball. I think it was the Chiefs were running the ball. And, but you see this, uh, one of the dudes on the 49ers, he's getting ready to tackle, bro. And he, I, I'm like, okay, this could just be he was an idiot. He could be. But he goes and he damn near tries to drop this other guy that was not even, that it wasn't even running the ball. Yeah. It just, bro, it, it looks so like fake yeah how yeah, it went down yeah, yeah, i'm not yeah. even lying to you like somebody's probably gonna know exactly the the part i'm talking about bro but it was just very weird man so i don't know bro. i mean the super bowl in general there was a lot of weird things going on i mean geez like fucking usher dude oh, i mean God, let's get into it bro. bro i'm not even gonna lie to you we already speaking about love if uh, i if i if i was alicia key's husband swiss beats i'm back home <laughs> Mike, sick. I swear to God, I'm back home sick. I'm like this with it. Are you kidding? <laughs> Sickening. <laughs> My kid's watching this. Sickening, bro. My kid's watching yeah, Usher. That's crazy. Usher. I mean, I guess they are just performing. You know, it is what it is. But that's still crazy as fuck. I ought to be sick. 
<laughs> my i'll be sick bro i'm not gonna cap to you i'm sick bro like you're not gonna go and do me like that where you gonna dance with this nigga usher on stage oh usher is a well known well known for this bro they it even got an episode happened. in the boondocks about this nigga <laughs> it literally happened not that long ago too which is hella funny kiki palmer yeah, bro God, he's just destroying marriages left and right bro this nigga Usher, dude, is literally a dictator at this point. This nigga, he's just going from marriage to marriage, bro, and saying, you're through. Yeah, and apparently he just got married not long ago either. Ha, huh, dude, that sucks. Isn't that crazy? That Usher's married and his wife just understands that, hey, he the one just performing. He's Usher. He Usher, baby. <laughs> he the one just performing. But it's crazy because oh, it's like, man. bro, you know what I mean? And I get it. Alicia Keys was performing at the, you know, at the yeah, show too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the the difference a little bit versus the Kiki Palmer situation or any of the other ones. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. That's true, but yeah. I don't know. I, I that one was just interesting too of a situation, bro. Everybody was just posting that shit, dude. That was crazy. There were so man. many memes on that already, bro. <laughs> I swear, bro. Usher is just such a memeable guy, bro. He does so many crazy dude. things, like the Gojo shit. Oh my god! Everybody and their mom was mad at this dude. <laughs> they said, "Bro, how am I gonna get spoiled by the most unlikely person for Jujitsu Kaisen, bro?" Fucking Usher, Usher. the artist <laughs> of all people, <laughs> of all people. So random. He's gonna go and spoil it on his Instagram. So like random. it was so random, but. But yeah, I don't know, bro. It was just such uh, like a lot of weird things. But hey, I mean, there was some 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 cool things that came out of the Super Bowl, though, bro. Hell yeah! Like the commercials, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie, the, the one, one that I wanted to watch. Everybody was waiting for, it, bro. And I'm not even gonna lie to you. Can I be so real? Some guy got me yesterday, bro. Some dude tricked me yesterday. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was on I said Instagram. I was on TikTok. I was looking through, you know, what I mean, just going on my for you page, and I seen a clip, and I was like, oh shit. And it said it was the Super Bowl commercial yeah. for like a, a, a teaser trailer for Deadpool 3. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, let me get into it. Nigga, when I say this guy made the most beautiful fan edit for Deadpool 3, dude, I believed it. <laughs> you thought it was real. I thought it was real, nigga. And he just used a bunch of clips from the older movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, are they using some of these clips from the old? It makes sense for them to use some from Deadpool 2, right? But nigga, they got me good, bro. But dude. The real trailer? The real trailer, bro. I am excited. Holy shit. Like a motherfucker for this one, to be honest with you. It looks pretty fucking good. It looks dope, bro. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. And there's so many Easter eggs in the trailer already as it is that we can get into for a second. We can just kind of dive in, bro. Oh, my God, bro. First off, this movie still feels very Deadpool, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Because like a lot of the other shit that they do is... You know, with Marvel, bro, that's connected to them recently has just been weird, and they've kind of been warping these characters. But it just seems like it seems like Ryan Reynolds got to do exactly what he wanted to do yeah. with this movie, bro. You know, because from the opening shot of Wade's birthday party and he's wearing the wig and shit <laughs> yeah. like that, it's so funny, bro. I'm already like, okay, literally talking about pegging. And yeah, stuff like that. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And he was like, oh, Disney's not ready for this or whatever the fuck. Or Disney's not used to yeah, this. Yeah, I am. I was yeah. like, bro, okay, okay. I see what the what y'all are doing with this, bro. To be real, so I I don't know. I mean, I'm just I'm just excited for what they're gonna do with that. I mean. Oh man, they even showed uh Wolverine and they like had a split second. Yeah, yeah, they had yeah. and I guess I never read that comic, but I guess it's a comic where um cuz I guess he's wearing like, you know, this white suit and he has like an eye patch. I don't know if you ever seen that comic before, mm -mm. but you've seen that scene where Wolverine's sitting at that table and he's wearing like a white suit and he's like sitting like this and Oh yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, 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 that's yeah, from yeah, a comic yeah. book. Yeah, yeah, I don't mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in that comic book, I guess he teams up a Hulk. Oh, that's it. So people are saying and I guess I heard that they're really alluding to we're gonna get Wolverine versus Hulk in this movie. That'll be sick as fuck. That's what they're saying. Yeah, that That'll they're and sick. then but this is the craziest part. I don't think it's gonna be Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. I think it might end up being the old old school one, and they might make it just look way more better. Or it better be Edward Norton. It's gonna be Ed Norton's, bro. I, I hope think it's Ed they Norton. might work something out through that, bro. I heard that, um, I don't know if it was in the Deadpool trailer or where it was, but they said that you could see, like, um, you know the soda that got Stan Lee? Yes, it's next to the Secret Wars comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where yeah, Deadpool yeah. gets hit by Wolverine, uh -huh. and then Wolverine goes and pops cause Yeah, you see it next to the well caught. So that was another Easter egg saying, like, okay, we're going to get Hulk. That might go crazy, bro. And that was the one from Ed Norton's. Man, yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh, I hope so. 
that would be the craziest shit, bro. And the title alone is insane. Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, sick. So dope, bro. That's dope, bro. I mean, I think that this movie is damn going to be about, like, Deadpool going to, like, these other yes multiverses and, like, recruiting a team or some shit. Because looks- in some of the scenes, it looks like he's in the past. Like, it was, like, um, where he's in that snowy area. It's it like looks like Ultron. Exactly, so yeah. You were thinking he might save uh, Quicksilver. Mm. You get Quicksilver on the team. Mm. Even though Quicksilver didn't die in the snowy part. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he could just be there for that. Yeah, for a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is interesting. I don't know. I mean... I feel Fuck. like on the trailer, I feel like they didn't even show that much. I feel like it's really like the first like 30 or 40 minutes of like the movie damn near. I feel like there's going to be so much more that they're No, nah, like, there's hiding. so much more shit that they're hiding in that movie, bro. I mean, it's just so crazy to even just see the TVA come and get this dude. That was so crazy. Yeah. So they're really connecting it to like the whole like Loki shit. And can I be real, bro? Dude, fans are insane. The fact that fans have been calling this, this like so long, this storyline. Yeah. Since like 2022, man, is fucking insane, bro. I've been hearing about like, oh, okay, so basically the TVA is gonna be the ones that go and get Deadpool. It's like, nigga, what made y'all? On. And they were spot the fuck on. And it ties and so well with the said, with the last movie yeah. too, because he has the whole cable, the cable little, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. messed with time, mm-hmm. so it makes so much sense that there's like so many of these other things that show like, hey. You guys time traveled and fucked shit up. Yeah. So even this, have they even talked about how the Avengers time traveled and fucked up shit? Well, save the world? Yeah, but apparently that was like they were supposed to do that or something. Like, they so talked it's about, canon. Yeah, they talked about that in TV in, in, in Loki the first season. Like, mm, they were supposed to do that. Nice cop but out. They, but they, they took Loki because he wasn't supposed to get the, the space stone to fucking go back or whatever. Mm, yeah. That is a wild. So I think they're damn going to go and get Deadpool just like how they got Loki and like use him to like find other people that they need to recruit or whatever the fuck mm. especially if it's going off of like what happened on the last season of loki it's yeah. like it's all run by like good guys now i guess yeah 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 i mean dude and what's even crazier too is that well it depends like what is the timeline of this is this pre loki tva or is this you know yeah 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 post loki tva when it was still like king was running yes. shit. yeah so it might be when king's still running shit yeah, I wonder how they're gonna what handle if it? they're gonna yeah mention King in this with the whole shit that's going Jonathan on. With the, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, ah, uh, uh, I don't know. I they think they still probably another, will. Another, they will just get another gonna King. get another black dude. Yeah, another yeah. guy, and, just and like, they're this. just gonna be like, "What do you mean that is King?" Yeah, you know. <laughs> or they could just really just be like, "That's just King from another mul- from another uh, multi." Yeah, a more powerful King. Yeah, yeah, a blacker King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could do that. Yeah. Yeah, and he's power level stronger because yeah, of that. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. But nah, I mean, yeah, that was probably the only highlight of the Super Bowl, bro, was the fucking. That's all I was You know, about yeah, really trailer. was the Deadpool trailer. So, I mean, I was juiced about that. And uh, I just hated how, like, the trailer wasn't even on the TV. Like, it was a teaser for the actual trailer. And it just yeah, had, like, yeah. the trailer's online now. Or some yeah, shit. yeah. I mean, but that's kind of the world now, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, to be yeah, honest yeah, with yeah. you, it's just. Trying to get those views. Really, up. Yeah, they're trying to get their views up for on their channel. Yeah, on You know, because it's like, yeah, nigga, they they like, nigga, we got a YouTube channel too. What you talking about, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> Try to get our views up yeah, too. Yeah, no, for us, for us. You know, because it's like, man, I mean, in the next, I'll probably say 20 years, bro, we're not going to have, I mean, TV is just not going to really exist anymore. Man. You know, like, I'm not saying we're not going to have a TV screen, but we're just going to have a giant screen yeah. for things to, you know, because I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Even like, the even, Super Bowl even was on streaming. I was just going to say, because even like my TV in my room, bro, I don't use it to watch fucking cable. Ever. I use it to watch like YouTube or you know what I mean I just plug my laptop into my HDMI or like Netflix know, like, or something. Yeah, I watch Netflix on my off my laptop or things like that. Yeah, I haven't had cable in how long. Yeah, like actual like like you know Comcast or whatever Directv or whatever. I've had I have had cable in so long. You know what I mean? And it's like, dude, it it just shows like how far we're going. And oh my god, dude, I wanted to get into this, and it's so crazy because we didn't even talk about this. I didn't even know this part when we were talking about it on the last episode about the Apple Vision Pros. I just wanted to say this real quick. Bro, on some real Rick and Morty shit, I did not know this. You could be sitting in your bathroom while you're using the Apple Vision Pros, Mm -hmm. and you could literally make it look like you're just in the Himalayas, like you're on top of a mountain. What? I'm, Bro, it's like green screen. It looks so real. What the hell? Bro, I'm telling you, I've seen this dude. He showed it, like what it looks like, bro. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you can probably record your whatever you know what i mean um what you were seeing for the day or some yeah, crazy shit yeah 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 and bro 
this dude, he his bathroom, you know, he was looking around his bathroom and he turned it into like as if he was on top of a mountain. Interesting. All bro. around him. It's just all around him. him. He's looking around like this, bro, and it looks like he's on top of a mountain. It's hella windy and shit. That's it's all snowy and so stuff. Yeah. Crazy. I'm telling you, bro. It's interesting how far this this shit is going. You know what I mean? And and I'm just sad because like how we were talking about like it just have had me thinking because I, I recently just watched um, Ready Player One again, bro. Oh and, yeah, they're going crazy. With and it. dude, it's so interesting how I think in the movie, bro, said he was born in the year 2024 i believe or 2027 i think it was and then 2045 way after you know what i mean like but my yeah, point yeah. is it's like 2045 is not that far from here yeah and with the apple vision pros that we have right now and whatever the fuck we do i'm pretty sure by 2045 <clears throat> we'll actually probably be there and then i showed you the thing of the whole like disney has the whole dude like it's like a little like, yes carpet or something no, dude, it's like a that's little mat you can walk steps. on that's already the two steps for literally. it you could just literally be in your living room and i'm I'm running around the fucking world. Yeah. And I just keep running. With running. the Apple Vision Pros. With the Apple Vision Pros. And it looks like I'm running in a field so towards crazy, another man. army and shit. So crazy. And, and speaking of like Disney, you know, like Walt Disney was supposedly like frozen and shit like that. Yeah. Right. Did you head. know there's an actual company mm. in the UK? I think, they're, I think they're based in the UK. Well, they will freeze your body after you die. In the hopes they'll cry, you'll freeze your body. Yeah. In the hopes that in the future they'll have this the technology, technology to bring to you back, thaw you out. Yeah. Really. Yeah, and they have like, it's mostly people from like the U.S. that do it, but they have like I think they have over like a cool like hundred or five hundred people that actually like bodies it. up in there are frozen. Yeah. And one of the people do this like some like famous like baseball player. I think I know what you're talking about. What the fuck? Yeah, and they like bro the whole I process think I know is what you're talking so about. crazy. Like they like cut you open. They take everything out? They know they like they pretty much connect your valves to like their, their machine that they have. Yeah. And they pump you up with like this antifreeze type of thing. And it pretty much makes it so you won't like like you won't freeze. Like you won't like ice won't build up like your blood cells won't turn into ice or anything like that. Like it turns into like a gel instead. So that they could keep you for a long time. Or even they have like you could just freeze your brain and shit. What? Isn't that so crazy how people actually do that though? Bro, it's just interesting that like there's so many different ways that you can go out. You know what I mean? Well, you can be ha your body can be handled after you're done. You know what I mean? Compared to like back in the day, nigga, it was like, all right, throw his ass in a wooden box and, <laughs> dig, a, and dig a hole. Literally, yeah. You know, but now it's like, hey, guys, you know, do you want to get frozen and then thawed out in 30, 35? Man, who knows when? Yeah. You know what I mean? But then it's like. Because what if it does work? What if they do? That's what I'm trying to bodies? say, bro. Would you do that? I don't know. I don't think I would want to do that. You wouldn't want to get thought out in 2045 because and then the it's like a whole like, classroom of kids and they're all look kind of like futuristic <laughs> and they're all looking at you. You look like a king. And I'm like, what the <laughs> You're wearing fuck? some like, you're wearing some Jordan shit like that. They're just like, whoa, you look kind of retro. And you're like Marty McFly. Man. Yeah. Isn't that, that dope? That would be insane. To you wouldn't want to do that? See, the thing is like, I, I only say like, I don't want to do it because it's like, I don't want to like, what if it, what if it doesn't work out? But then again, it's like, I'm already going to die. So I'm, I, it's either like rot in a box or, or turn just, it to dust. Yeah. Or just get sit into this like cryogenic this, chamber yeah, or whatever the hell for like 50, 60 years or whatever. Yeah. And even if the shit doesn't work out, they end up dumping my body in some ocean or something. I'm just a frozen guy now. Yeah. I'm just some dude that looks <laughs> yeah. so crazy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> either way, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I just wonder how they're gonna freeze you, though. Yeah. How, what would be your freezing pose? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Mm. What would be yours? I already called it, bro. I said it on the, like, I think like three episodes ago. I'll probably just do this one. Like screaming? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I'll do that. I think I'll do. Be, I think I'll just be like thinking, like pondering, like. Yeah. So when they ah yeah, so when when they when they go and then they're like this. All right, class, and this is a man from the year twenty twenty four. Yeah. That's when you got thought, and yeah, then yeah. they're like, yeah, this is a man from the year twenty twenty four, and his name was Michael. Here he is, and then they're like this. He was actually a great thinker. Look, look at his pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know what I mean. You were a philosopher in our time. That's yeah, what they're gonna yeah, think. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then they're like, and this is Sharon. <laughs> He was mauled by a bear before he <laughs> passed away. <laughs> he died of a heart attack right before the, the animal could get him. And we're hey, able to scoop him up and I freeze his God, body. I swear to man. I swear to God. But, hey, dude, this is a short-ass story. I'll tell you real quick. You just reminded me. Speaking of, like, fucking a bear mauling anybody, there is this story about this dude. I forgot his name exactly. But apparently, bro, he fought this grizzly bear i don't know if it was barehanded actually i don't think it was barehanded 
but uh he was fighting this grizzly bear bro they're going back and forth and i think he just had like a, a little knife or a gun on him and this was way back in the day bro basically all of the dudes that were like a part of his group or whatever the hell they all go to look for bro eventually they end up finding this dude and all they see is i forgot how wide of the area was all like destroyed like hell of there like it was like on some like anime battle what shit the like hell? hell of the area the terrain was like destroyed like to the Leo. next level no i'm telling you bro was destroyed to the next level and they found him and the bear both dead really i'm so serious yeah and then like he was like damaged like a motherfucker and the bear was hella damaged too like the bear's jaw was broken what? off and shit i swear to god this is a real story and they have like a plaque thing i forgot where it's at i would have to look up all the information but there's like this plaque thing that says the guy's name and everything and saying like yo he fought a bear and this this and that and that's how they found him and shit and he killed, and he the killed bear. it yeah he killed it yeah that's hard as fuck i was like bro, i'm gonna lie that's, that's every probably... dude's like dream i was just about to say that you know like, what i mean that's the best way to go yeah. out in any way it's like I got into a fight with a bear, and, and none of us didn't make yeah, it out. We both didn't make it out. We both lost. Yeah. We both won. Oh, God. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Interesting, bro. And that nigga's just cemented in history now. Forever, bro. As the bear slayer. See, I don't have, like, a lot of people, like, bro, they get so close to surviving shit, bro. Like, because I wonder what it was. Like, did he die, and then the bear, after a while, kind of succumbed to his injuries? Or, like, how did it happen? Like, nah, how did they, they said, both just end up dead? Yeah, they said the bear got him, like, with a critical blow. Like, bit him, I think, like, somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. And after it bit him, he said they said he was hitting it in the head because you could see that there was, like, some blunt force on top of the bear's head. So he was hitting the bear with, like, a stick or his gun. Or, no, no, I think it was a stick. He was hitting the bear with a stick. and Because they found a stick, too, and there was blood on the stick. He was hitting the bear in the head with the stick. The bear goes like this, gets off him, and it, like, threw this nigga at a tree or something. Wow. Damn, I broke his back. And after he was laying there, the bear started charging at him. He grabbed, he, it, like, damn, I threw him right by the gun on some movie shit. Bro gets his gun, blasts it. And when he blasts it, it blasts his jaw damn near off. And then the bear lands right next to her. And then he ended up dying. So he was the one that succumbed to wow. his shit. Yeah. So he got the bear last minute. So he shit. survived the bear's yeah. attacks. And, and then, then he, and he, then he died. He, yeah, because nobody came in time to save him. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, oh, bro, humans can survive so much, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. I'm going to have to, like, dude, I don't know how these guys even, sur like, survived this crash at all, bro. Yeah. This happened back in 1992, November. These two cameramen were trying to get these, like, aerial footage for this movie called Sliver that was coming out. They were trying to get it in a helicopter of, like, this volcano or something. Bro, one of the worst things that you possibly imagine happening to you while you're on a helicopter over a volcano, bro. They crash into the volcano. The helicopter? The helicopter crashes into the whole volcano, bro. They're down there, and they end up getting the pilot out, but the two cameramen are stuck down there in the volcano. They're like right next to like a pool of lava. Are you serious? I swear, bro. And eventually, bro, they have to. They end up staying in there for like two days. In the volcano? Inside the volcano. Mike, the, you're fucking lying. Because the smoke was so thick that like the rescue team couldn't see them down there at all. So it took them dumbly. They ended up getting one of the guys out because they both they fell in different areas of the volcano. What and the fuck? They ended up getting one guy out, and when the other guy had to stay down there, he was like all the way down there at the bottom, Loki. And he died. No, they ended up getting all three of them out safely. Are you serious? Yes. And they were in a volcano, they were an in active a volcano, an active volcano. Yes, they're sitting for there next days. to lava for two days. Mike, and this was all for a movie. This is all for a movie. Ain't no, it's so fucking crazy. What? They cut those scenes out the movie. You're fucking I swear. lying. I swear. You're lying. They cut those scenes out the movie. Wait, and were they like a part of the cast? No, they, they were the, the crew. They were the cameraman. It was just for aerial footage of the volcano. That's and they I mean. didn't even use those they shots. They didn't even use it, yeah. Bro, I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. I, I swear to God, bro. Right after, I promise you, this is what the director was doing. He was like, oh, my God. Bro, I'm so glad you guys are safe. Take how, as much time as you guys need. After you guys are done, you know, healing up, maybe we can go back and we can just finish up the last couple mm -hmm. shots that we're just going to do in the city. <laughs> and then they were just like, thank you so much. Da, da, da. You know, we're just going to take a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks. You know, they're probably trying to be generous, yeah, too. Yeah. They probably took a couple of weeks off, right? They took a they lot back, of time off because they had hella smoke in their lungs. Oh, no, my mom. So, right. They take uh, a little cool minute off, right? They come back. They like, oh, so uh, how's the movie going? Bro's like, yeah, uh, well, this is actually what we got so far. We're already editing it. We're already editing it. Yeah. 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 And bro's watching it. They're, they're watching the footage and they're like, wait, but where's the uh, the volcano shot? Yeah. I yeah. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> it's funny that you ask. Um, the volcano scene, we just kind of felt like 
it wasn't really needed in yeah. the movie anymore. When it came to the end of just putting all the clips together, we just decided that yeah, we, we really out. didn't need the aerial footage. Yeah. Because we had to get the certain time frame. And the only thing that was actually cuttable of the movie without, you know, taking out too much of the plot was the aerial footage that almost took your guys' lives. Bro, I, bro, I promise you, the dude and or girl, whoever the fuck was, was doing two it, dudes. it was two dudes. bro, they both lost their mind in their hospital I beds. Hell, I'm mad. I would have been so fierce. Bro, they Walter Whited, Mike. Like, <laughs> I, swear, <laughs> I swear they did. It's like, you're telling me that bro. I spent two days in an active, in an active volcano, volcano for this for fucking, fucking shot. Movie. For your movie. And nigga. you're not going to use it. Bro, I'm not going to lie. One, you didn't use my shot. Two, I almost died for your goofy ass. <laughs> I should get the fattest bag on earth, nigga. I oh should be getting God. damn near paid more than the director for this. Oh, song. my God. I'm dude. being real. I'm being real, nigga. Dude. Like, bro, I'm damn near Tom Cruise in this motherfucker, dude. how crazy I am, nigga. That's one thing I actually want. I'm curious about. I didn't look it up too much, but I actually, I wonder when did those cameramen find out that their footage was cut from the film? I know. Like, did they find out, like, beforehand? Did they sit down and tell them, like, you know? No, like, I think it was after, bro. Or do you Hell think after. The red carpet, they're sitting there with the little breathing oxygen yeah. tanks and bro. shit. Bro. <laughs> And then they're sitting there waiting for the shot to happen. They're like, this is what the reason why I'm carrying this thing around here is for the shot that's about to happen right now. And it immediately cuts it. Doesn't even show any aerial footage of the volcano or anything like that. Bro, I'd be so bro, sick. Bro, I promise you, bro. I swear to God, bro. Them niggas were like, nigga, the director made them more sick than the fucking smoke from the volcano, bro. That director damn near killed them niggas with that shit, bro. I promise you. Are you kidding me? I promise you. Oh, that's heartbreaking, nigga. Bro, I almost died for your movie, bro. And you're not even going to use and the footage. And you're not going to use any of the footage, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what I mean? It's so wild, bro, how like, ah, man, but that is crazy ass footage to even get. Man, I actually want to see I wonder if the they, footage. no, I'm saying like, when did the cameras the cut when they fell in the volcano? Was yeah. it still playing? Like as they were falling. That's what I'm it. trying to say. That would be crazy. Bro, I would have been like, nigga, keep rolling. Yeah. <laughs> in the movie, bro. That's insane, bro. That's an insane shot. No, because you got to think about it, bro. It's like, imagine me, nigga, falling into hell for a second. Man. And it's not like they didn't, like, it's not like the footage was destroyed. That's they what I'm saying. They just decided not to use it in the movie. You decided not to use fucking actual footage from a real active <laughs> volcano inside. <laughs> Who has that? Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, like, I don't even know if a drone can even get That's shots like hell, that no more. Nigga. Milk. It'll melt before that motherfucker even does anything, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, um, that's crazy as fuck. Wow. And what was the movie called? Like, Slither? It's called Sliver, I think. Sliver? Like a sliver of hope? Or a slither of hope? A slither of hope? Yeah, it was a psychological thriller <laughs> named Sliver. Named Sliver? Yeah, I've never heard about it, though. Have you ever heard that word, Sliver? Yeah, Sliver. Like a snake? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So. I think it's no, like wait, that. no. Does a snake... Sl it slithers. Yeah, it slithers. What, what the fuck, the fuck is Sliver? sliver? I don't know. Like a sliver of meat? I think so. How, use Literally. sliver in it. No, 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 no. Don't look it up. No, Mike. Use it in a sentence first. Sliver. Yeah, go ahead. Try to use it in a sentence real quick. Mm. What do you think? Sliver? Huh. Hold on, hold on. I got to think about this because now that you're saying I it, have a like, sliver of homework to do. No, I don't think that's how you use that word. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But like now that you're saying it, yeah, that doesn't make... What the fuck? The sli I, probably, I probably sound so stupid right now. But what nah. does sliver mean? I think everybody else in this motherfucker probably seen that. Like, huh, <laughs> they're all searching that right now as we speak. Sliver. Tell me no I think it is like a sliver of meat. I That's think what that, I'm saying, I think bro. That is, hold on, I'm going to search it out. Yeah, I, I'm, Mike, I'm bet, actually, money, bet money I'm right, nigga. Let me see. Bet money I'm right. Sliver. Just put sliver definition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. Yeah. It's a hunk of meat. A small thin piece of something cut or split off a larger piece. So even like a sliver of cheese. So I'm right. Or like a, I can even say like a sliver, a sliver of watermelon. Or something. So I use it in a good sense. Like anything of a big. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. See, I'm hella smart then. Yeah. yeah so we both agree yeah, that I'm hella smart, Mike. Yeah. Or, or what? Hold on. I actually want to see the movie now. Like, did the movie even do good? It did not. Got an eighteen percent of Rotten Tomatoes, five point one oh, out of ten shit. on IMDb. That sucks, dude. And I was died for your fucking movie. <laughs> It had a wheel. It had a William Baldwin in it. Really? And Sharon Stone. Wait, William Baldwin is he really to Alec Baldwin? Yeah, yeah. I think this is his brother. Damn, dude, them niggas. All right, let me shut up. Yeah, he's not the one who killed someone though. Who? The William one? Baldwin? Yeah, he's not. Nah, the one but Baldwin. I mean, shit, nigga, he's still on the set. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus, what are the odds that they both have something to do? With, like, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to near say. Near. Yeah. 
Someone better watch Justin. You know what I mean? It's very superstitious. Someone, someone, someone better watch Justin, bro. Yeah, bro. Can I say one thing? Hmm. The one thing, I just want to go back to Super Bowl shit. The one thing that I got mad about the halftime shit. Yeah. Why didn't Usher bring out Justin Bieber, bro? <laughs> I was waiting for it, bro. Especially when Little Chris came out. I said, bro, if they yeah. go to baby right now, I'm going to go stupid, bro. I'm going to go dumb right now. Ain't no way they're going to be on Justin Bieber right now. Nah, that is crazy, bro, to think about so many years later. You know what I mean? Tell me that would have went crazy. Yeah, with that, yeah man. nah, real shit, real shit. I'm not even going to cap. That, yeah, that would have been insane. They missed out. Uh, yeah, they really did. I think he just don't want to go back to that one. I feel it. I feel you it. You know I what I mean? It. That's I like one it. of the early, early days ones, bro. But yeah, you know that, I mean? that was a crazy. Yeah, that yeah, would have yeah, crazy. And then yeah. they would have just went some like, I just need some money in the yeah. Come on, Ooh, bro. I ain't going to lie. Everybody would have went crazy. I would have went stupid, I would have been bro. nigga at my house going crazy. Yeah, oh, God. I would start doing the... I swear to <laughs> the little dance moves. This is what they be doing. I swear to God. Oh, come on, Nah, real bro. shit, though. But, hey, dude, speaking of the Super Bowl, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is very interesting what I heard. This has to be the craziest theory I've ever heard about Taylor Swift. Bro, people believe that Taylor Swift has this weird connection with the number 13. Yeah, I, I heard so much about this because it's like her lucky number. Yes, apparently, right? Nigga, when I heard how deep it goes, I was like, dude, at this point, this can't even be a theory anymore, bro. This is too... It's too spot... No, watch. Some of the shit I know you have not heard. Really? That all have to do with the number 13? That all have to do with the number 13 in this bitch. Bro, first off, her birthday is December 13th. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. That was crazy. And she was... And she turned 13 on Friday the 13th. Wow. Which is already hella weird. And her first album she ever dropped, I think after 13 weeks... It went gold really yes which is hella interesting bro there's so much other shit and even recently bro she won her 13th grammy damn and even like with the super bowl shit the super bowl was on february 11th and if you look at the numbers nigga two and 11. oh they add up to they add up to 13. 13. and then also it's super bowl 58. five and eight equals 13. that's crazy <laughs> And then even the team that her boyfriend was playing against, the 49ers, four plus nine equals 13, <laughs> oh, Mike. Wild, yeah. And that's then the craziest crazy. shit is even the other quarterback on the team. Yeah, Brock uh, Purdy's number is 13. His number is 13. Yeah, that's wild. Super fucking weird, dude. Why is it that that's so crazy how her, her number really always comes up so much in her life? I'm telling you. And then I was like, what the fuck? Apparently, she even... When she, while she was dating, bro, she went to 12 football games. Yeah, this and was the Super Bowl was her 13th. That's crazy. Yeah, like, that's, she might be gang affiliated. Bro, <laughs> maybe, nigga. And like, you know, it's so Deep crazy. Down. Not, and then hella people were like saying like, oh, Taylor Swift is a witch and whoop de whoop. And it's so crazy that her boyfriend's team won. Yeah. You know? It's like almost there was a hex on the other team. Come on. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like people were saying it because like 13... The number is like, you know, it can't. I forgot. Some people think it's an angelic number, but a lot of people think it's cursed. Yeah, it's an you know, number. it's an unlucky number. Yeah. Like, you know, Friday the 13th and stuff like that. And even there was a story. Um, I don't know if you ever seen. Uh, they even did an episode about this creature on uh, Lost Tapes. I don't know if you remember. And Lost Tapes wasn't real, but you know what I mean? I don't know if you remember uh, the Jersey Devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. when they did that episode, there's real lore about this creature in real life. They just did a whole episode about it for the show, you know what I mean? But the story about the Jersey Devil is that this lady, I don't remember what country it's from, she has 13 children, and her 13th child was the Jersey Devil. She gave birth to basically the devil, yeah, which was, was like the 13th child. The yeah, and it baby. basically comes out of her and flies out the fucking house. Wow. You know what I mean? So it's like all of these other deep things that have to do with the number 13. That is very strange. And mm. people were just saying like... And that's her lucky number. And that's her lucky number, yeah. Do you have a lucky number? Not really, bro. I mean, but you know what's crazy? I was always kind of tied to the number 24 just because like, you know, one, it was my birthday and, you know, I fucked with Kobe, shit like that. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's always been 24 mm. for pretty much majority of my life. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know why, but I think that's kind of my lucky number, I guess. If that's I so to weird. Say. Like, there's like so much like weird like superstitions or like yeah. urban legends. Like, I ain't gonna cap. Like, this has got to be like one of the most weirdest like urban legends or myths that I ever heard. Apparently, in Paris, there's a statue of this guy named Victor Noir. 
And apparently he was like, um, he was like a reporter and damn near like kind of like the face of like a revolution after he had died, after he, like one of the emperors in France had like killed him. On his grave, it's like a bronze statue of him like laying on the ground like after he had got shot. Yeah. There's like this weird myth that a lot of girls believe that if you rub his like bulge, like his crotch, like on the statue, yeah, that like you could get like pregnant. What? Like you have like it gives you you have it, a better chance. Yeah, of it makes you pregnant. more like fertile. Yeah, really. And there's like so much weird things. Like I think like they said if you kiss his lips and you're single, like you have a better chance of getting a boyfriend or something like that. What? And like rubbing his left foot could give you like kids, and then rubbing his right foot could give you like twins or some shit. What? Yeah. And there's like so much pictures of the girls like sometimes girls would like get on top of him and like start rubbing like their crotch on his on his like on his crotch in hopes of getting like pregnant that is low-key eerie bro to think and about even it's so like, even in 2004 they had to put a fence around it because so much people were going to like touch it people were livid they're were, they're were hella mad that they put the fence up that they even they ended up taking it down really so they yeah. never protested that they like, the take fence. that down <laughs> nigga. i'm trying to have kids nigga. <laughs> yes literally yeah wow bro. and if you look at the statue like the part all the parts like, it's a bronze statue but like his crotch his it's hella feet, like silver and his lips are hella like worn down yeah because people keep on Kissing touching it and shit. rubbing it yeah what the fuck? So weird, huh? That is interesting as hell. And then apparently, the weird thing is like, it kind of like works in a weird way. Because a lot of the girls who do end up doing it, do end up having kids. Really? So a lot of them will come and bring like pictures of like their kids and like sit him next to like his like his statue. Whenever mm. they have them. Do you believe it? No, I don't think so. You think it's just I like, think it's just like, you think it's just like, bitch, you was already going to have a kid. That, yeah, I think it's like <laughs> a placebo type of shit. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. That would be crazy if it really was working. But it's so trippy. I don't know about the whole twins and maybe yeah, that might. They I might, don't know. That might be a stretch, but. If that actually works, then maybe I'm going to be like, oh, shit, this guy might might know something. You but know, he might where be did that shit. come from? Why did they think I that? I don't know why they, I don't really do not know why they like. Ended up cooking that up. Yeah, for him in particular. That's why, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But for some reason, I don't know where it's like they said that. It's a well-believed like myth that the girls who go and like rub on his crotch or touches his lips or anything like that like you know it makes him like more fertile or whatever or makes him have a better chance of getting like into a relationship that is wild as fuck dude yeah see that's interesting is like everybody has their own little urban legends yeah. or things that we believe or it's like oh you know if you put shoes inside the house it's this or if you do this this and that you know what i mean it's that it's like you know we all have our own things that we think are right or that we think are you know bad for us you know what i mean that will fuck us up or this is not you know what i mean because i don't know like what are some that you believe personally in your own life hmm i'm trying to think like what's i feel like i probably asked this you know like let's say like i don't know maybe like for the longest, locking your door like your room door or something before you go to bed or something like that like some people will be like yeah that's just a superstition for me like i feel like if i don't something's gonna happen one night mm. you know the night i don't lock it some shit's gonna go yeah, down yeah there's a uh i think the only superstition i ever had was like breaking a mirror Mm, I always you feel actually weird. feel weird doing it. I always feel weird whenever I break a mirror. Mm. Break a mirror or like walking under a ladder. Yeah, I think walking under a ladder a little bit to me, breaking a mirror for sure. I'll probably say the biggest one for me, bro. And I told you this. I don't know what it is. Umbrellas inside, dog. That one just Yeah, it does feel weird. Eerie. That does feel weird, yeah. I'm so serious, bro. Like I remember my brother, he was making a video the other day. This nigga was like, hey bro, come here, help me real quick. I was like, all right, it's good. This is going to say, open this umbrella. I was like, yo, yeah, like, you're trying to do me. what are you doing, bro? You're trying to do what me. What are you doing? You know, I thought that was crazy. I was like, bro, you got me over here fucking trying to go over my su my superstition, nigga, to help you for a fucking video? I'm like, yeah, hell no, nah, bro. You yeah. trying to do you in right now. You know, but, ah, man, it, that's interesting. But, but there's oh. so many of them, like, spilling salt and shit. Like. Wait, bro, I'm sorry to even cut you off. I had to tell you this, speaking of even video or recording or anything like that, this guy does the craziest shit to his wife on Instagram Live. It was this Bosnian bodybuilder. This dude had a wife and he had like a one, I think one daughter or like one kid, right? It was this guy named Nerman and he was 35 years old. So like I said, you know, he has a family, stuff like that. Turns out this dude was beating the hell out of his wife, bro. Really? Like he was abusing his wife all the time. And it was even to the point where his wife, I think at one point in time, or maybe even several times, she called the police on bruh and was telling them like, yeah, bro, this dude has been hitting me, stuff like that. And 
he keeps being fed up with it like bro she keeps calling the police on me whatever whoop de whoop that one day he jumps on live he is talking to his followers and he's telling them like yeah you know uh this is how this is what happens to to lying ass bitches and whoop de whoop and he's saying hella crazy shit and then he tells his fans you guys are going to be able to witness a live killing today whoa i'm so serious and then he walks through his house or wherever the hell he was at he starts walking and you see him walking through the room and, and they're like up there like they have a lot of followers and stuff like that yeah wow and he he has a coup chunk to be mm -hmm. real and so he walks over to his wife and he turns the camera like faces her she's like already beat up and shit like he's what already been whooping fuck? on her he pulls out a gun and he shoots her straight on live in the head whoa and for everybody to see i'm so serious on live and then after he shoots his wife you can hear like the baby crying and shit like that in the background and he tells the live He's like, bro, somebody come save this baby from me. What the like, fuck? Like, right now, bro. He's like, somebody come save this baby. And he was saying, like, oh, yeah, that's what this bitch gets. It's her fault that she's dead. All this other crazy shit. And then he hears the police coming while he's on live. Mm -hmm. You could hear them, like, damn near up the street type shit. Yeah. And then he gets in his car. He starts going on a high-speed chase with the police. While he's on this shit, he ends up going just on a random killing spree. Really? Randomly. He, he ends up going while he's in his car pulls out his gun blah blah shoots at people and he ends up killing a father and his son like some what? little ass boy and then he keeps going up the road while he's driving the police are trying to get him he ends up injuring like a couple other people he injures like one of the police officers that was trying to get him he ends up shooting him somewhere and then he ends up even injuring two other girls that were like just walking That's down the street and, crazy. Shit. and right when they corner bruh he goes takes the gun and he kills himself wow yeah, crazy as fuck. Bro. Did all that and just ended his yeah, own life. Yeah, and this happened in like 2023, I think. Really? So last year, yeah. And then the baby, he just left it at home or something? Pretty much, yeah. Wow, yeah. what a fucking scumbag. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if he had the baby in the car, but I'm pretty sure he left it at home. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. bro. So it was like, now that baby's just in the system. Literally. You know, to be real. Oh, man. She's for sure going to have like traumas that she doesn't even know yeah. why she mm -hmm. has for yeah i mean like yelling or like gun the sound yeah, of a gunshot yeah, she's gonna be like freaked out for sure you know what i mean fireworks shit like that's always gonna traumatize that baby forever See, that's the thing like why is that story always so common it's like they're like this like you know like social media couple or whatever and then it turns out that like they end up killing each other or one kills the other one even if it is on accident you know what i mean like that one story about the dude who got shot by his wife for trying to have like a big ass like phone book or something like block the bullet but there's so many people who are like, bro, like they're like this happy couple. And then the father ends up like shooting them in front of his kids or something like that. You yeah. Know? Like, it's so insane. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's just hella weird how people, I don't even know where your mind went. You know what I mean? To go and kill your wife and all this other shit. I don't know, bro. Yeah. But dude probably was already unhinged to be real. And bro, let's be honest. I'm pretty sure bro was on the juice. For sure. He was swole as fuck. He was big ass dude. Damn, you know I'm hella yeah, aggressive. He's hella buff. He has some. Bro's probably on the juice. And Way shit, too much testosterone. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit made, probably made bro crazy. You For know sure. I, mean? I ain't gonna lie. He was on the juice a thousand percent. Because that shit fucks you up, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, deeper than just your body. Like, you know, because a lot of those niggas that be on juice, you can kind of tell. Like, they'll have, like, a lot of acne, like, on the shoulders and shit like that. And, you know, when they first start getting on it. And just a lot of other weird things that mm. come from it. You feel me? So, yeah, he was for surely probably on the juice for a while, bro. You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's would, you, would you ever do that? What steroids? steroids? Hell no. Nah. Just to get real buff. Nah, I probably just my legs. Just the legs? Yeah, just the legs. Get my legs hella buff. <laughs> Why the legs? Mm. Just cuss. Maybe I gotta do it. What, what about just for once? Just for the one time? Just get hella buff one time? Just one time and then just let it go. Yeah. Nah, I feel like I'll become like Bane. Mm -hmm. I'm always gonna want more juice, more venom. Mm -hmm. You know? I would you? Good. Nah. 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 I heard, it makes, you, I heard it makes your legs. Like, yeah, your weenie small. Does it really? I heard about that, but I don't know. I heard that's a myth. I think it might be true. You think so? You think it's like everything else is getting hella venomed up everywhere else, but like except your weenie? Yeah, it just gets yeah. shrunk. But why can't I just put like what caught in my dick? Because usually dudes don't shoot in their dick. I know, but I think it just goes to your whole system, though. Yeah, but why does my weenie have to get small? I think it gets it gets uh the, it sucks out the uh, the cartilage or whatever the, the fuck's in there. Cartilage from it and it gets it goes into your muscles. <laughs> whatever the fuck's in there, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe it might not be real. Cause how the why why is that a thing? 
Yeah, that's your weenie gets small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's why I kind of me, I personally, I mean, look, let us know, bro. If there's anybody in here, any who, juicers out there, yeah, any juicers out there, you know what I mean? Any guys out out there that aren't natty, let us know. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> who knows, bro? But uh, I don't know, bro. I just thought this shit was crazy. R.I.P. Yo, girl, man, she did not deserve that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's fucking sad. You know, man. I just. uh Man, I hate stories like that, bro. Where it's like Some this guy, guy, he didn't even face the consequences because he killed his, his pussy ass. He killed himself. Yeah, so he's know? not even gonna be able to go to jail or anything like that, and yeah. literally kill like three or four people, damn near. Yeah, hopefully he's in hell, huh? For sure. Yeah, hopefully. Now I'm just saying, you know, if if there is. Oh yeah, he he's for sure. I hope he's in agony right now. Yeah. Wherever the fuck he's at. Cooking. Yeah, I hope he's fucking cooking, dude. Yeah, I mean. But yeah, bro. Hopefully, other couples aren't going through some crazy shit like that, bro. You I know, know I mean? bro. Like, that's just just so, so sickening, so, so bro. sickening, bro. But man, with like Valentine's Day around the corner, bro. Bruh. I don't know. Like, do you do you yeah. ever like like I don't know like I guess what's your opinion on Valentine's Day? Do you ever do you even really, really care about Valentine's Day like that? You know that's an interesting question. I'll tell you this, bro. I never did until this year. Okay. Like I still don't care about it really, <laughs> but because I already told you, like I kind of already celebrated my girl yesterday because you know I have shit to do on Valentine's Day actually, but um. It's cool, bro. Like, I never really celebrated it before. I never really understood. I was kind of like, ah, it's just to get more money out of us. You know, they're just trying to milk us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I just think Valentine's Day is one of those things where it's kind of more so just for the girl. But I think if you got a good girl, she'll probably fuck around and want to do something for you back. You know, maybe cook yeah, or God, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through, you know what I mean? Because my girl, she cooked and shit. But, um, yeah, bro, I think Valentine's Day is, is, is cool. I, I just, I don't know. I just don't really value it the as much as the rest of them yeah you know what i mean like like because i'll really try for christmas or i'll really try for you know halloween or something like that you know or thanksgiving for valentine's, or, day, is valentine's day is yeah, just kind of one of those background ones like fucking <laughs> like, uh, like st patrick's, patrick's day, day. Yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah okay. you know or easter to me too, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 no you that know? makes sense yeah. i feel that i feel that i feel that you know what i mean because i kind of feel the same way like it's cool but like i don't know like i never really cared about it like yeah but do you you did you but you always celebrated it, right? Like as a kid, like, and shit? I don't know. When you had a girlfriend, did you always celebrate? Yeah, it? I think whenever, uh, like that's literally, yeah. I mean, it's only mm -hmm. for like, I've only ever did it when I ever. No, had I'm saying, like, girl. did you ever have a girlfriend where you didn't do it? Maybe when I was like a little kid, maybe. Nah, high school and up. Oh no, 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 no. Mm, so I think every time, better. yeah, I think I had to do at least something. <laughs> yeah, 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 at least yeah. one little thing. Okay, would they do stuff for you? Mm. Or was it mostly just for them? Most of the time. Yeah, no, I'll probably get something small though, like a shirt or something. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like maybe a sweater or something. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Valentine's Day is just interesting. I feel like it's just. I think it for sure is more of a girl holiday though. Yeah, I mean, type shit. Hey, Mike. Speaking of uh, Valentine's Day, put those fucking things away. <laughs> put those goddamn things away, man. Jesus. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, but. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I, I just think it's 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 cool, man. I feel like I, I just think the holidays are way I don't want to say way worse, but it just hits different when you're in the, when you're in a holiday with somebody you actually give a fuck about, you actually care about. Yeah, for like sure. That, for you sure. know what I mean? Cuz I think for most for most people a party is just a regular day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cuz it's kind of like, you know, I'm not trying to say celebrating the holidays with your family couldn't be enough but at the same time it's kind of like bro you know at the end of the day bro everybody else got their own shit yeah you feel what i'm saying like because think about it, it's like if you have siblings and stuff like that it's like oh i'm gonna celebrate christmas with all my siblings but it's like your siblings are most likely gonna bring their partners yeah I'm eventually. Yeah, 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 yeah. and then you know your ass is kind of there yeah you know and even though you could be like yeah but i mean you know my brother's girlfriend's cool my sister's boyfriend's cool and we all hang out we all play games for christmas it's like yeah, it's cool, but it does it. Yeah, you gotta find your duo, bro. You know, does it hit the same? No. Yeah, bro. but see, that's 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 so funny. I always see guys like I seen like a video of this dude. He was on the street. Yeah. And, like interviewing this random guy. Mm. He's like 40, 50 years old. Never had a wife. Never had kids or anything like that. It's crazy. And then they're asking like, "Bro, do you regret it?" Mm. And he's just like, "Yeah, you know, everyone regrets not having kids because he's like, you know, when I get older, like, who's gonna take care of me? Like, I'm kind of just be by myself." Yeah. And he's like, "Like, but you know, I get the like the joy of like." having kids by seeing like my my siblings have kids or seeing like my friends have kids and he's like but seeing he's like seeing some of my buddies with their wives he's like oh man i'm glad i don't gotta put up with some of that shit <laughs> and then like, like there is kind of like you know what I mean? like, yeah i know what you mean yeah i mean i and and even with that 
Uh, I think it depends, bro. You know what I mean? Whenever dudes talk about that, because me personally, too, I, I would agree, kind of, but I think it just depends on who you get, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure. At the same time, it's like, bro, you know, you deal with what you put up with, bro, to be honest with you, because, like, in the end of the day, bro, you don't got to deal with nothing. You know, most people, it's like you're in a situation because you're you want to be there. Yeah. You know, so I, I think that's very interesting, you know, so I don't yeah, know. No one should be forcing you to be like yeah. into anything. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Because it's like, bro, if I feel like, bro, yeah, bro, this girl's stupid, fucking annoying and I don't want to deal with it. Why do I have to be there? Yeah, God. Just the same way, nigga, is like she's not going to. She thinks it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know, bro. But like, hey, and tell me this. OK, do you think that a dude, if he doesn't do something for Valentine's Day, would you say that that is that makes sense? For you personally, that a girl would break up with a dude for. If he didn't do anything? Yeah, let's say, like, she was, I like, guess, like, Valentine's Day came up. She was like, hey, babe, were you still going to come over? And then bro's like, yeah, yeah, it's good. Hold on, I'm just getting things ready. And she's thinking that he's. Yeah, but he's actually that. just getting dressed. Yeah, he's getting dressed. Yeah, and shit like that. <laughs> and he's just getting hey, dressed. Hey, Because he was planning on. And then his surprise is that he was going to spend the night that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was like, hey, babe, I brought my bag and shit. I'm going to spend the night. And she's like, okay, so you. You forgot. And he's like, forgot what? Do you know what today is? Saturday. <laughs> the minute he just. Yeah, for sure. He's going to be. <laughs> and I'm saying this. Water. I'm saying this. And then after she decides to break up with him, would you say that was a good reason for a woman to leave her man? Is that he forgot about Valentine's Day and didn't do anything? And let me add mm. the caveat that he's a normal dude. Like, he goes to work, shit like that, whatever. Fuck. We'll yeah, do it. Yeah, you know, yeah, normal yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, bro. Yeah. Nah, not really. Mm. Well, actually, low key because it's like, I mean, bro, if you have, if you're in a relationship, you have to know that like your girl's gonna want, she's gonna want that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And yet, and it's like, bro, you're constantly getting reminded of it, like all over your, bro. Anything you go on your phone, but it's like during February, it's like Valentine's, Valentine's, Valentine's. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're constantly. Yeah, if you ain't do nothing though at all, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a little insane. Yeah, so you would agree with the old girl? Yeah. I think I, like I would have really agreed with her, but like I'll you you would just kind of be like, I mean that's what happens. Yeah, okay. that's just yeah. Like, okay, okay. I don't think it. I think it's more likely that he will get, she will break up with him if he does forget he, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. Mm, okay. Do okay. you think? I think it's dumb, but I think. That, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now. you're going based off of what is the girl more likely to do? I think she will probably like. There's chances that she might leave. Leave. Him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I probably say that too, but I probably say like shit. I think it's stupid too, but yeah, I, 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 I forget agree. so much shit though. Yeah, me too, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I forget Especially, so like, much, can I be bro. real, bro? This is gonna sound fucked up. I mean, shit, my girl probably gonna watch this episode, so it is what it is. Uh, dude, I mean, I forget all the time, fucking like the month shit, you know, or the, the like, oh, we're we're this long, or oh, we're a year in 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 three months. It's like you know, what I mean, like I forget. about I just that, go for bro. the big ones, like year. Yeah, I think I went for like six months, and then like I forgot the rest, and then a year, and yeah, then like see, two I don't years. I remember those. Dude, I just remember just that one. Yeah, but I don't like I don't like go like we're we're like three years and five. We're months three years today. and five months and five minutes. Yeah, like I don't think I I, I wouldn't be able to remember all that. That's kind of crazy. You me. remember the minutes? No, fuck no. <laughs> I don't even remember. If you remember was, the time you guys kicked it? I don't even remember if it was sunny or or. or you night remember? Out. All right. Do you remember the day? Saturday, Sunday, Monday? No, I don't remember that. Honestly, you do, Mike. I could look back and I could figure it out, like what what day the it day was. Did y'all kick it? But I think it was probably like a Monday or something like that. Maybe Sunday. Mm. Was it at night or during the day? I think it was like midday. I think it was like midday. Probably yeah, like that seems like a Mike thing to do. Yeah, go around that time. Yeah, that's <laughs> Mike right there. Yeah, yeah, that's right in your alley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it was yeah. around that time. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Do you remember the night and like minute day or? No, nah, I don't remember the minutes. Uh, I just remember that it was during the day. I know it was during the day. Uh, I went bowling type of shit, and then uh, did it at the bowling alley. What well, like the first time you hung out with her? Wait. What are you talking about? I was talking about like the first time that you asked her to like be your girlfriend or something like that. Oh, 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 okay. I thought you were talking about like at first I was just like Mike on the pod. No, 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 <laughs> I no, was no, like, no. nigga, what the no, fuck? No, 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 Hey, I, I, like, I, like, I really kind of like that, bro. It kind of still fits. What? TV4Y, TV4Nights. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. 
I kind of like that too. But if y'all want to eat for nice, bro, let us know, nigga. You know what I mean? Who knows, bro? But I like how like no one knows what the fuck that even yeah, is. It'll be everybody's just like, bro, what the fuck is TV Four White Nights, bro? Comment down below if you guys fucking want TV Four White Nights. Let us know, bro. I promise you, bro. And then Mike, you know it'll be so hard, bro, yeah. for the for the uh, cover art for our TV Four White Nights. Everybody's expecting it to be us with like the little Ebenezer Scrooge nineties yeah, and the little hat yeah, and shit, yeah, right? Sick. I like that. That's what everybody's expecting. I know you. I knew you were gonna like that, right? Like that. We like could that. do that and just have us with the microphones. All right, hold on. We're gonna give you guys two choices: either that one, somebody's gonna do it for us, the Ebenezer Scrooge hats with like the little nineties, like George yeah, Washington yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that, or we could do a play on words where it's TV Four Y Nights and we're both knights. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, that one's pretty sick. Yeah. I was thinking more of like. It's just like neon lights and shit like that, and we're like, I don't know, that don't make no fucking sense. But hey, not go ahead, Mike, like go ahead, nice, go ahead. Like nice All right, how about this third one? How about this third one? To be four by nights, and it's both of us. We're both in the same bed, and we're both doing a podcast, like Drake and uh, Bobby, like Bobby, uh, Bobby, uh, Bobby, uh, Altoff. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, and hey, you seen that she got divorced and shit? I was just about to say, that. yeah, that's crazy. Man. Yeah, that shit is actually wild. Well, actually, it's not really crazy. I really don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't care about her either. But you know what I mean? I just think it's crazy. It's interesting of like right after the whole Drake shit. Her shit is like really weird. Bro. Yeah, I know. A lot of people are starting to like kind of fall off of her. I never you know? really liked like her her inter- her interview style. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I kinda, you don't know yeah, these yeah, niggas. Yeah, it was so weird. Like I think it's like at first she had a decent shtick with like you know because she did it with Funny Marco and he was able to bounce off of her and then it be it went from being like oh I'm I don't really know who you I mean I'm trying to I'm trying to understand these things mm-hmm. to I don't know who you are and I don't really care. Yeah, and I think they, they pumped too much of them out so fast. That I was kind of like, it's kind of overwhelming. I'm like, damn, this bitch is kind of boring as fuck. And I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I don't even know, like, why she's really even popular. Like, do you believe the whole industry plan shit? Do you think there really is an industry plan in, like, the you podcast know, world or something? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, to a degree, I, 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 all right, me personally, I don't believe she's an industry plant. I think that she probably just had a moment of luck where it boosted she, her up hella fast yeah yeah i'm not yeah, gonna lie because yeah. i think that she probably had somebody that reached out to her got that interview going it spiraled and then it turned into something else because Lil yachty bro he connects a lot of motherfuckers bro like i'm not gonna lie to you because he's on tiktok stuff like that he's on everything yeah, yeah, yeah. so i'm pretty sure he probably saw her thing and then ended up getting her actually no no no, no. funny marco probably saw her shit early she got with funny marco Lil Yachty saw the Funny Marco video, sent it to Drake. Drake was like, that's hella funny, whatever we do. I actually would go on her podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake was like, yo, connect me with old girl. Probably got connected through Yachty. Did that interview. Then she had the Yachty one already lined up right after. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. That's, probably, know, that's, that's probably exactly probably how it went. Yeah, yeah you know, because I think Drake followed Funny Marco already. And Funny Marco posted the same clip to his page. Yeah, that you makes know, sense. Type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just boosted. It's so her. crazy how people could just like you know, it's just it happens. It just happens like that. You know what I mean? Somebody you link up with one person that follows somebody else, and then boom, it spirals you to a whole nother fucking yeah. realm. You feel me? Because yeah, nigga, her shit still be doing numbers. For it's sure, just crazy. Like she, and she got like, like Mark Michael Cuban Sarah. and shit. Yeah, she never like, yeah, Mark Cuban, Michael Sarah, niggas like that, bro. Recently, so. That's interesting. Still going crazy. Yeah, she's still doing her thing, bro. But the whole divorce thing, like, I heard it was just like over, like, um, I forgot exactly, but pretty much they just stopped, like, fuck with each other or something like that. I think damn near what it was. Yeah, but I mean, come on, bro. What Ah. do you think it was? Me personally, you think it was her laying in bed with Drake? I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I personally think bro couldn't handle it. I think it was one of those things that, like, one, you got to think about it, bro. It's like he for sure, and you know, people can say whatever they want, but I think he was probably the breadwinner originally in his relationship with her and then out of nowhere bro his girl just became this fucking superstar where she's interviewing rappers that you like and that you listen to in the car on the commute to work yeah and now she your your girl who you were like oh she's my stay-at-home wife yeah. who does tiktok videos that's all she was at first yeah, it was just yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. she's staying at home doing tiktok videos whatever the fuck with them. she had their kid and then it's like my stay-at-home wife blows the fuck up on on media. That's really how it was. Pretty much. Oh, sure. I, I know yeah. she wasn't doing any like crazy jobs or anything like that at the time, but uh, I might be wrong because I haven't researched her too much. But that's what I heard at the time. She was just making videos like TikTok normal that's videos. Crazy. And now she's laying in the and bed now with Drake. She's laying in the bed with Drake and doing videos like that, drinking fucking big ass margaritas or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it's like, I think that's probably why. I think bros just sitting there like, yo, I don't know, man. 
You know, it's yeah, a, a little, man. It's a little. That's such a weird like. And now their shit's so like publicized to like the like the rest of the world and yeah. shit like their their relationship and stuff. It's so yeah. crazy. That's what I'm saying. I think that's the one thing that would suck about being celebrities. Like, your life is just so like all out there. Everything that like something bad happens to you, but everybody's gonna it. fucking know. Yeah. yeah, more than the good. Yeah, that's for the sure. Yeah, part for sure. Too, you know what I mean? Because I mean, drama sells more than hell yeah, good shit. You know. To be real, that's like so. the whole the people have whole shows based mm, on like, yeah, yeah, you know. But I don't know. I mean, and then it's like after the drama's done, your thing is dead. Whatever the fuck it is, it's like yeah. you know. That's why I kind of think her her podcast might be dying, bro. To be real, after all this shit, and who knows, bro? I mean, she could end up doing her Dougie. You know, more power to her. But in the end of the day, it probably is dying because I mean, shit. It seems like some other niggas is kind of coming up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe she can start OnlyFans. Yeah. Like that. Ooh. You threw it out there. Is that fucked up to say? Nah. I think that's always like isn't that kind the of alternative. Crazy? That's that could always that's always like it's always there. It's always there. Yeah. It's always the perfect like little like back backup door that they could use. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that interesting? It's like you know what? Shit. If I don't care about my morals or anything like that anymore, fuck it. I just hop on this shit real quick. Just hop on this shit. Just do a couple bikini shots. And bro, if she did that shit, bro, she for sure make bands. Yes. I promise you she'll make bands. Isn't that so crazy? Yes. Interesting as fuck how it's like, it's pretty easy. She can just maneuver to this other platform. But isn't that crazy? That it's like, you know, let, let, let Kai Sinat try to do a OnlyFans. You don't think it'll blow up? I don't think it'll, you know what? You want to know why? I think it would blow up because a bunch of dudes would pay on some weird shit. That's crazy. I'm going to be honest That's with you. Crazy I think it would be a say. bunch of dudes. <laughs> I think it'll be a no, bunch for of sure, his for sure, fans for sure, for would end up sure. paying and shit like that, or whatever the fuck. Whoop the whoop. I might even try to say no weird shit because you know eventually we want to get Kai on this motherfucker. But I'm just being real, bro. This is such a weird scenario. <laughs> but I'll be honest, bro. If Kai and I started OnlyFans, nigga, like come on, bro. It would just be a bunch of his fans for sure. I don't think a lot of girls would be. It wouldn't be a bunch shit. of bro. Girls don't pay for weenie. Yeah, fuck no. I mean, girls get those free. Yeah. Girls get weenie for free. Yeah, yeah. Why would they need to pay for Why it? Why would they need to pay for to see yeah, a picture yeah, yeah, yeah. or a video of Kai Sinatra? But there weenie. are dudes on OnlyFans. No, there are dudes on OnlyFans, but you want to know who their predominant audience is? Gay dudes. That's true. Oh, that, yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's still dudes buying it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's always that's dudes. True. You know, even when it's dudes posting, that's it's always so dudes. crazy. Like, yeah, we're so horny. Like that whole industry. That whole industry. It's just is on the all back of funded men. funded by men, bro. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? And it's a, such an old industry, too. Yeah, it's they've been so around since like the night, like they've been 18, around since the 80s. Yeah, or I was some gonna shit. say, nigga, they've been around since fucking Kings and shit, bro. When they first time they brothels and when they finally discovered, like, oh, we could record shit or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, bro, they were instantly, like, instantly. Let's get it. We could sell this shit right here. Yeah, bro, these girls don't even have to let these niggas touch them. Man. What? Oh, yeah. Instantly, bro, easiest bag on earth. Damn. You know what I mean? So whoever decided to do that shit for the first time bro, literally changed the world. Changed the game, bro. I'm so I'm so serious. It will never be the same again. Cause how like I know cap like I can't even go on Twitter anymore, damn near. I've already known, bro. Every single fucking page I go. Every time I'm scrolling, all yeah. I see is like ass. Some bitch's ass or some shit or like OnlyFans link. Yeah, like hella <laughs> bitch. Like oh, here's my OnlyFans. Or like it's not even that. Cause I didn't even be like blocking those pages because I'm already knowing like, to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would be a funny tweet and yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go in the replies to see. Yeah. And then like, some girls putting her OnlyFans in there. And I'm like, bro, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, she's putting a link to her OnlyFans. Like, yeah, yeah you guys like this video? Come check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm like, what where is the correlation between this video of this of this cat falling off of yeah. this playground or something? Oh god, shit. this cat falling off a ladder. Yeah, this cat's falling off a ladder or something. Yeah. And then two I scroll down two times and it's a girl like in a bikini, like yeah. Oh, you want to see this pussy? And it's like, yo. I'm like, yo. What this got to do? <laughs> that actually makes sense. I like how you did that. I like how you did that. Nah, honestly, you got to give her the marketing for that one, Mike. I ain't going to lie to you. Hey, some of them have good marketing. I'll yeah, give them that. that was actually but pretty Jesus, decent. man. But I've already known. It's like, bro, this I miss, guy. I miss the old days of Twitter where I actually see just like funny, funny stuff shit. that's happening. Yeah. Yeah. And not just bombarded with hell of fucking OnlyFans shit. OnlyFans or, ads yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I mean, but that's what it is now, bro. I mean, a lot of those girls, they funnel their audience through Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Woo, woo, TikTok. Yeah. So they get a lot of their audience over there to make that money bro it's crazy you feel me so it is what it is that's what the world is becoming and now bro. i'm wondering like it's crazy because like i think i got like my first debit card or whatever yeah like around i was like 17 uh -huh, yeah i think i got my shit around the same time like bro. 16 17 imagine like 
kids nowadays were like seven. Oh, dude. Who have their own debit cards and stuff. They're like buying that. OnlyFans. They're probably buying hella dumb shit like that for yeah, sure. They're buying OnlyFans, V-Bucks. All that shit. Yeah, those are the three things. <laughs> OnlyFans, V-Bucks, and uh, vapes. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> That is what the like everyone in their high in high school and early yeah. college years are buying for sure. Yeah, I swear to God, it's those three things, bro. That's you know wild, what I mean, bro. All that type of shit. You feel me? And buying video games on a PlayStation is shit. <laughs> That's pretty much shit, bro. To be real, I don't know. But like, damn, how many kids? Yeah. Like, go and buy and, like, OnlyFans and shit. Probably a shit. I think, and that's, you know what I think is kind of interesting? I always wondered, like, do these girls not give a fuck that it most likely is just a bunch of creeps watching you throw your ass or shake your boobs or whatever the fuck? It's like, if you have a bunch of random, strange ass men or kids watching, or kids, that's my point. Like, 13 year old little niggas that are horny as fuck, 14 year old, 15, 16, whatever the fuck. Who go and watch your Who shit. Who go and watch your videos. Yeah. And then, like, that's your fan base. That's what you're going to be known for. And I might be trying to, doubt, like, get on anybody, you know, do whatever the fuck you yeah, want. It is what it I is. don't give a fuck. That's your life. But but I'm being honest. It's like I just always think about that shit sometimes. I'd be like, damn, that's interesting how, like, do you not think about that? Like, when you walk on the street. Like, I remember I remember you, you said it on one episode before about Mia Khalifa. You could, like, be walking on the street and a couple... Guy and girl, yeah, walk up to you talking about some because this happened with me and Khalifa. You told me, nigga, and I heard the story myself. She said she a couple walked up to her. The dude said, "Yo, you're me and Khalifa, right? Can I take a picture with you?" And she was like, "I'm literally talking to somebody right now, or like I'm in the middle of something." Mm. And the dude was like, "What the fuck?" Like was hella thrown off. Like, oh, she hella weird for that. And her his girlfriend said, "Come on, babe, that's probably not her because she doesn't have enough, you know what, on her face." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, crazy bro, <laughs> the girl said it yeah i was just saying that the girl so it's like that. even the girls don't respect that shit. yeah like most women don't even respect that shit if i'm being honest so it's like that's interesting about it it's like your legacy is gargling weenie yeah and throwing your ass like, and all this other stuff and it's so crazy like this is not a new thing it's not it's been for there's since black the and white time. fucking yes like you know what i mean like yeah. porn videos yes and it's like Imagine, like, girls are getting ridiculed for that shit now. Imagine how it was back then. Dude. Dude. Bro, those I girls are getting really, like, treated like witches or I something. I swear to God, bro. I can't even imagine, bro. I could not even Dude. imagine, bro. Imagine being one of those girls. Back in that time, trying to do this shit. That they Fuck. Do I they're know. probably like if they're probably looking, you know what I mean? If they're like ghosts around or they're probably like, yeah, these bitches got it easy. Oh me. I swear, bro, I promise you, bro. The, 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 what it called? The ghost brothel bitches? I swear to God. Are you kidding me, bruh? So like, these bitches got it so like, good now. You got a maid. Bitch, you got a condo. <laughs> you got a little dog. You got Fifi. You know what I mean? You got like, what the fuck? You got a drink with a little umbrella in it. Like, yeah. what the fuck, bitch? That's uh, actually crazy. You know the shit we fought for so you goofy <laughs> bitches can do this shit? Man. That's the craziest part because, bro, they went through hell. I promise you, bro. Like, niggas would probably see them bitches in the street and be like, yes, ah, you dog. Look at this fucking, <laughs> yeah, on God. Or spit on them and then go and go buy their shit, though, later on. Yeah, though. and then later on that night, the same niggas just like this. Ah, yes, my fair maiden. For sure. You know what I mean? Type shit. Can I see ankle bone for <laughs> full schmiggles? Or whatever the fuck it was, you know? That's crazy. I don't know. I, I just think that shit's interesting is it's like. You know, just how how much the world has changed, especially for women. Because yeah. I'm going to be honest, like, even though for us it has too, but I'm saying, like, can I be real, nigga? Everybody always says this. Nigga, we never really changed. Like, even though, don't get me wrong, like, yeah, they say guys got, like, softer or whatever. Yes. Yes, that's true. But we're still the same. Like, think about it. Dude's standards has not changed. Like, think about how easy it is. I said the only thing that changes is, like, the size of the standard. You know oh, yeah. Like, no, no, no. Sure, for sure. It just got worse. Yeah. Is my point. Like, I'll say back in the day, bro, niggas were, we were, de they were damn near rigid. Like, yeah, bro, bitch, if you even, if you even got, like, a little tummy, you're gone, bitch. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which is interesting. But, like, but nowadays, guys like, nowadays be like, yeah, cool, oh, yeah. yeah, bro, with whatever. Yeah, I'm not it's sure, like, man. is she thick? Cool. If she's skinny? Cool. If she's this? Cool. And it's funny how, like, I remember, and this was so interesting. I remember Billie Eilish. Everybody got on her for this, but oh, yeah. I remember she said, oh, it's crazy how guy body standards n and nobody cares. If he has a dad bod, cool. If he's skinny, cool. If he's buff, cool. If he's this, cool. It's like, if he has tattoos, cool. It's like, but girls, we have to be perfect. And we'll do it. I was like, bruh. 
Does she not know there's a whole body positivity movement <laughs> that is not for niggas? Man. Nobody's saying Rick Ross is a king <laughs> when he got his shirt off. We're all sitting there like, Rick Ross, if you don't put your fucking shirt back <laughs> yeah, on, nigga. Yeah. That's what or we're thinking. Or even if you're dummy ass short. Yeah, if you're hella short. Or if you have a little weenie. Yeah. These are all things that have to do with the body that you cannot change. Yeah, well, you're yeah. fat, you can. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like, bro, there's most of our standards that girls talk about, th- we can't change them. It, think about it. The standards that niggas put on girls, you can. I'm being real, bro. Most of the standards, it's like, bitch, you know what I mean? Yeah, hey, uh, I like girls that aren't big. Or mm-hmm. I like girls that are fuck that or this or that, whatever the fuck with do. But it's like the standards that girls have on dudes are literally something you damn near cannot like, change. Like, I can't grow ten, like five extra feet. Exactly. Or I can't fucking grow five extra inches down here either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? If you a little, if you a dude with a little thing, bro, you're pretty much just, it is what it is. That's what Man. you got to work with. You're not going to, you know what I mean? Unless you try to do any of these fucking pills that they put on Pornhub and yeah, shit. Oh, God, yeah. You know, or Take get a the, rhino or, too. Yeah, you know, or get, or get the, the, the penis pump. <laughs> get the gas station pills and yeah, shit. Yeah, you feel me? But those motherfuckers might mutate your ass. They might kill lie. you. They yeah, might turn bro. you to a goddamn Ninja Turtle oh, or something. me, bro. Yeah, turn you into a TMNT, nigga. <laughs> I promise you, bro. But I don't know, man. I mean, I just I just think it's interesting how different it is for, for us nowadays, you know. But, hey, bro, speaking of women. Mike, this woman is truly disgusting, bro. Her name was Jennifer Bur- Burroughs, and she worked at a morgue. So this lady was working at this morgue for a while, probably a couple years, and she would usually just do her job. Nobody really complained about her or anything. So she seemed normal for the most part until people started finding out what this lady was doing with these dead bodies, Mike. You're not even gonna believe me, bro. I don't even know how this is possible. This lady would go and she would mess with these dead bodies and she would have sex with these dead bodies, Mike. What the hell? At the morgue? At the morgue. She would have sex with these dead bodies, yeah. Oh my God. So basically somebody, I guess one day, one of the, I think it was like a janitor or something like that, or somebody that was working there also, Mm -hmm. ended up popping up and she didn't know somebody was there and they ended up seeing her pretty much doing like it riding a dead body wow yeah they were like what the fuck so they called 911 police end up hearing about this shit that this lady was doing this shit to these dead bodies and when they ended up uh you know pretty much trying to see what's up with old girl bro when they arrest her they figure out that she's pregnant and no she's way. like she's like they're asking her like okay so where the fuck is your dude and Mike. Don't tell me, bro. Ain't no way. Mike. One of the dead bodies. One of the dead bodies got this lady pregnant. Still had a little juice in there. Still had some juice in, bro. And it was this guy <laughs> who was like, I think a 57-year-old man. Who, what? Uh, who recently at that time got into a car accident. Wow. Yeah, and he ended up dying, bro. And they, it was her job to take care of his body and prep it or whatever the fuck, you know, and all that stuff. And she pretty much rode this guy's dead body. And ended up getting pregnant. By a dead man's sperm. Yes, bro. I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't either. I was like, bro, doesn't this so, doesn't so, have to so, be like so, hard? That's what I'm saying. So, wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure, bro, she just... Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm so, like, shook right now. I know. <laughs> how the fuck... Yeah. I thought it did have to be... Like, how Like how was this shit still able to work in there? That's what I'm trying to say. able to pump it through his thing. I don't know. Wow. But it worked. And, and they were they confirmed because they even went to the bodies that she did stuff with. And they checked the morgue where she works at. Yeah. And they were looking at all the bodies and the, the detectives and shit. They ended up looking at the bodies. They got DNA from all of them. And they were able to match it up with the baby that it was that 57 year old guy who's and been dead. We, we, she had the baby. She had the child. So she Whoa. has a fucking zombie baby. She has a zombie, zombie baby. Man's baby. <laughs> she has a zombie baby. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yes. Man, so Ogre ended up getting arrested anyways, but uh I don't know how long she got arrested, but how does that uh, how does that guy's family feel about that? It's like I know. They have a grandkid or nephew or something from the from their their family who died. Like, bro, that's so insane. Like I can't even imagine how that feels. Like, did they did that kid even like is he still connected to that other side of his family technically still? Or like Bro, that's so I weird. don't know. <laughs> that's actually crazy. I'm not going to count to you. <laughs> what? 
I think that's a valid question to ask. That's like crazy. <laughs> You're fun. just having fucking thrown off. That's what's every week. Because I didn't think that would be possible. Bro, have, I didn't either, uh, bro. Uh, I know. A zombie. Yeah, yeah. When I heard this shit, I was like, bro, how the fuck did he even get hard? So I'm thinking like she probably just jimmied it in there. She was probably already But how did she make it like nut? I don't know. There's probably still some juice in that motherfucker, like some pre cum or something. Because I didn't think you could make a soft, a soft wiener nut. I'm pretty sure you can. That's that's trippy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can, bro. That's trippy, bro. You know what I mean? Because like she you gotta was think about working it. for that thing. Then, yeah, no, try she to was get probably there. sitting there for a little minute, bro. And then she probably didn't even realize that she got it out. You that's gotta think about crazy. it. She was probably just sitting there doing her little thing. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, going, stupid. Yeah. going dumb on it. And then, <laughs> and then, bro, ended up. You feel me? Pause. He's but a papa now. Ended up, yeah, now he's a papa. Undead papa. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That's good. That's but that's crazy, bro. Man. Yeah, interesting story, bro. Probably one of the craziest ones I heard in a while, bro. Had a zombie baby. That's insane, dude. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, so I didn't even see what the family thought or anything like that. But I'm curious to know, like, if yeah, they like, yeah, I'm pretty like, sure. If it's a boy, if it's a son too, it's like it's gonna look like, bro. I know. That's fucking trippy. That's crazy, bro. Trippy, bro. Yeah. What a fucking weirdo. I know, yeah. And then people are saying that they just think it's because she's just, like, psychotic. Honestly, For sure. It fuck was, yeah. It was, bro, she seemed normal as fuck. There was nothing else that really alluded to that. Most likely we would do seem normal, though. Exactly, yeah. You know, so. Bro, speaking of psychos, bro, I had this one story I wanted to tell you. This happened in Missouri in 2003 to this kid named Sean Hornbeck. He was 11 years old at the time. He was riding his bike to his friend's house. And he ended up getting hit by a car by this guy named Mike Devlin. And at first this guy comes out and you would think that he's like trying to help out the kid. He's like, oh shit, like, are you okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He eventually gets the kid into his car and he tells the kid like, you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Really? He says that to the kid. What the fuck? And then he takes this kid to his house, bro, and keeps him for like four years, bro. Just torturing him, like physically and who knows what else. And he's torturing him with like, a, like his gun and like a wet, like knives and stuff. Four years. Yes, four years. What the until fuck? he realized that the kid, well, he he feels like the kid got too old for him, damn near. Yeah. So he ends up and he tries to kidnap another, another kid. Yeah, in two thousand seven. But the thing is, why he was trying wait, to wait, wait. So while he's kidnapping that kid, does he still have the other kid? He still has him locked up in his house. Yeah. What the hell? Keep going. So he goes and while he's taking this other kid, he takes this kid, he gets into his house, into his car, and that kid's neighbor is like this fifteen year old kid is riding his bike, and he notices that his neighbor is getting taken and that the little boy's in a truck like crying and shit. So afterwards he like, I don't know if he like, uh, like memorizes the guy's like plates or anything like that, but he ends up telling the police, the police find out that it was him. They go to his house and when they he gets find to his the house, kid. they find the other kid and at first he's saying like, it's his grandkid or some shit or like it's mm. his like God kid or something. But then they realize that both of these kids that he ended up kidnapping them. So he ends up, you know, ends up fucking throwing him to jail for like life damn near. And then both the kids end up going home. Jesus, bro. So, I mean, in the end of the day, I mean, I'm glad none of these kids got hurt. Yeah, dude, yeah, bro. yeah. But, but it's crazy that he crazy kidnapped them for four, four years, years of your life. Bro. What the fuck? Actually, From 11, nigga, we don't even know what he did with him. What the fuck am I talking about? He had him for four years, dude. That's, bro, that's 365 days times four. That's crazy. Nigga, crazy. are you serious? He had him from when he was 11 all the way to he's like 15 years old. Dude. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. And even the statement you said of he said he got too old, he was doing some nasty some shit. Some weird to him. shit, for sure. For he was sure. doing some nasty shit to that for kid, sure, bro. For sure, bro. Jesus Christ, wow, bro. bro. Oh, man. It's crazy because he seemed like such a nice guy when he first hit him. Yeah. Like he was trying to help him out at first, got him into his car, and then told him, like, pretty much told the kid, like, you messed up. Like, how sick are you that you tell the kid, like, you you're at the wrong place at the wrong time? You know you fucked up, right? That's so crazy. And knowing what you're going to end up doing to this fucking kid is wild as fuck, bro. Like, I'm so glad he ended up getting caught by the other kid, bro. Like, it's No, wild, God, bro. bro. I mean, there's always somebody that has to stop some shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And usually, these motherfuckers end up getting caught, bro. Isn't it kind of crazy how, like, the first kid he caught was a kid on his bike? And the reason why he ended up getting caught was because another kid, kid on, on his bike. bike. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Crazy. Story ends how, yeah, we got, how it started. Yeah, on God, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. I mean, damn, bro. <sighs> It's just so crazy how, like, how dangerous the world is, bro. You know what I mean? We just got so many weird motherfuckers out here, bro, yeah. that will go and try to kidnap kids and shit like that. You know what I mean? And, oh, 
I just remembered, brother. Please, 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 let me do this one, and then we'll get out of here. But I have one more. I have to tell you that was hella interesting. There is this story about this girl who does the weirdest thing on drugs, Mike. I don't even have to add any of the details of her name. So this girl, she ended up taking like I think it was some type of meth. She takes this drug, and for some weird reason, she starts seeing a bunch of crazy shit like to the next mm-hmm. level. And I don't know if she's ever done this drug before, but it seems like she didn't. She ends up going towards this train track. And she goes by this train track. I know, bro. Yes. She goes by this train track. And at first, I'm thinking the same thing you're thinking right now. Like she would jump in front of it or something. Yes. But no. She goes over that to that area. I don't know why. And something told her that she had to rip her eyes out to what? save what to save the world. And so she's by this train track, nigga. And Mike, I promise you this, she rips both of her eyes with her bare hands what the out of her fuck? head. Yes, rips her eyes out of her head, dude. And then somebody, like some passerby, some guy who's just walking by, he sees her. What she's doing is like, what the fuck? Goes over there and is like, ma'am, like, what the hell are you doing? And she's tweaking out, bro. And he looks and he looks in her hand and she's holding both of her eyeballs. Oh my God. In her hand. And she goes like this and squeezes them and pops them. In her own hand. In her hand, yeah. Oh, my and then, God. So this dude takes her to the hospital, bro. And pretty much, yeah. So now this lady. Blind forever. Yeah, has no eyeballs blind. left. Yeah, has no eyes at oh all. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I'm telling you, bro. Like, when you see the pictures of her eyes after, like, they're swollen shut. It's like this. And it's crazy. Oh, dude. Yeah, I know, bro. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, I can only <laughs> imagine, like, ripping this thing out. Oh. Holy hell. No, the things that drugs will fucking make you do is crazy. On me. Mike, can I go for one? You could try. Come here. No, I don't want to. That's <laughs> going to hurt. All right, no. Which one do you not care about that much? Uh, I didn't really care about my left I think one. You, I was going to say, I don't think you use the left as much. No, actually, my left one is actually pretty good. All right, bro. Mike, hold on. Let me get some pepper from inside, and then you'll sneeze, and just sneeze with one eye open, and it'll pop out. Do you think that's a real a real thing that will happen if you sneeze? Yeah, bro. Open? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I have to readjust my eye back in. Before, <laughs> you know what I mean? I sneezed. Popped a out a little bit. Yeah, it popped out a little Holy bit. Holy shit! Yeah, that's I looked crazy. in the mirror, nigga, and I was okay, just like, "What okay. the fuck?" You know, I looked at one of those guys. You know, the guys that know how to like naturally pop their eyes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I looked yeah. at one of those dudes. That's but crazy. only from one eye. Yeah, I had to put it back oh in there. Oh my god. Nah, I'm playing. But nah, yeah, that lady is insane though. She ripped her own eyes out just because she was on drugs. Yeah, and it's like I can't send you to jail or anything. It's like you did it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you just hurt. You just harmed yourself. Be safe out there, kids. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, yo, bro. Y'all stay away from drugs, man. Yeah, Especially that crazy yeah. shit. You fucking rip out your own eyeballs. I'm telling you. But, uh, guys, we are going to end this episode here. We hope you guys love this. Bye bye. Hope you guys love this one. You know, uh, we talked about a lot of interesting stuff. Let us know if you guys think Taylor Swift is a witch or, oh, yeah. you know, maybe she's not. I hope that the Swifties or whatever the hell they're called don't come for the TV4 our podcast. Please don't, please don't. We're just a small, humble podcast trying to please get somewhere. I'm do telling us. you, don't do, do us before we even get nowhere, Taylor. We love you. I, I love, love the song Taylor. 22. I love Tw- I love Taylor. You know what I mean? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. She got bangers, bro. Come on, bro. That was a banger. Can't but deny it. Yeah, guys. We love you. Catch you on the next one, man. Hope you guys love this one. TV4 our podcast on yeah, everything. Yeah, Instagram, yeah. Spotify, YouTube, TikTok, all of that, man. We love you guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.